Hello, hello, welcome to Leap Taken. This is Mika. Here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things witchy, craft related, law of attraction, manifesting, esoteric, and everything else in between. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of a fun setup uh, to get me set up for March. Um, now, this I Franken plan, so I have multiple planners in one planner, and I use the cover sheets as separators. So I've already did my catch all. And I've done my budget planner, and I've even done my wellness planner where I've added March. But I didn't do it for my menu planning and for my witchy planning. So that's what I'm about to show you right now. So I'm going to go ahead and move on over to the um, food, my menu planner, planner, and I'm going to add in March right now. So I have this cute, this was from like a, um, I never heard some recipe things, dinner ideas down. But anyway, this is a cute little folder that I had gotten from like some kit the Happy Planner did for menu planning. And it's it's just like an envelope. And I, it's so cute. Actually, I need to put this in here because I want to remember these ideas. Like if I jot things down to me, it's great. And like stickers and things like that. That's why I have in here other stickers and stuff like that. But it's great for just adding those things in here. And then there you go. Boom. But anyway, we're going to add in March. So I'm going to pop it out. And I just keep the books that still has the planner pages in it in my uh, on a shelf, like in my closet. I have one of those three tiered um, wheels. Shut, um, they have the wheels on them. They sell them at like Michael's. Even Ikea has a version of it. But, so I have two. So one is for sort of like my overstock or my stock and the other one I keep out for like my stickers and things like that. But isn't this so pretty for March? I think this is gorgeous actually. So this is, um, if you didn't know and you didn't see one of my initial setup videos, this is what it looks like for the menu planner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, ingredients to prep. Um, I, this speaks to my soul. Like I love this. This is so cute. So anyway, this is March for here. And then we're going to go to... This is, um, again, separate. So this is my wellness planner, which I already have uh, March. Do I have March in here? Oh, I guess I did. I thought I did. Well, I'm about to put that in there. But anyway, this is the witchy planner. So now I'm going to switch gears and put that in here. So here's March. I love these um, discs. They're so cute, mystical. But I just kept the... Um, gold because I kind of like that too. <laughs> I like them all. This is why I buy so many planners. Like I like it up everything. And trust me, there's another planner on the horizon because I'm me. Anyway, so yeah, there's that. Now, um, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I pop in March because that's going to be important. I write down my what I eat, or at least I try to keep a food log, exercise log in my fitness planner. And here we go. <laughs> Pop in March. First of all, I love the colors. I mean, these are some pretty colors and I love the design. Yeah, I typically, I, or at least I didn't for February, but I believe for March, I'd like to do this portion. I just really write the other stuff down, you know, in the sections. I just, you know, I don't really use the monthly, but it's here. But I just write like, this is kind of like a diary for me. And then what I want to focus on, like, I like this section. This is actually great for the spirit, my sort of emotional side and then the food log itself and then down at the bottom you write the exercises or if you didn't work out I, I write that as well so yeah this is just a little peek into that world if you were curious now we can get into March so obviously there's you know the end of uh, tomorrow Monday is the last day of um, February which is Again, February is a short month, but wow, did this go quickly. Um, and then we start March. And for March, for me, it's about resetting for sure. Um, this is kind of a, you know, I don't know. For me, it's March is very, it's a lot. It's, I'm happy. It's also a time where I'm very reflective at this time and definitely feeling that Pisces energy. But I'm also feeling like I'm ramping up, which is definitely going to, you know, <laughs> match Aries energy uh, to be more action oriented. So what I wanted to do was actually 
start with the monthly and I want to use some of these stickers and my theme basically is these are basically Arizona if you or desert like I think it so it doesn't, it just says new. I don't know, but it kind of gave me, I got it here in Michael's um, Recollections brand and it kind of gave me like Arizona. I think it is, I know it's like desert. I'm trying to see if there's something that specifically says Arizona, but clearly it is um, desert-like. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. Anyway, that's what it looks like to me. But what I am doing here is, I live here. Like, I, I know that sounds ridiculous because it's like, what do you mean you live here? Of course you live there. But for someone who's moved around a lot, saying your home is saying a lot. And guys, I'm home. I don't really want to live any other place but here right now. And I say right now because, you know, like things change, but I don't want to move anyplace else. And this is a first for me. I know there are other people in the world who are like, I, I don't get it. But if you are like me, I kind of like these little desert flowers. That's what I'm calling them, desert flowers. Uh, if you are, you know, someone, if you get it, you get it. I'll just say that. But if you don't, the best way I could explain it is you kind of, after a while from all the constant moving, you sort of condition your mind to not really, you always kind of are moving forward, looking forward um, or looking back to the previous place after a while. Like it, it's not even conscious anymore. It's, it's a subconscious thing. And let me tell you something that can wreak havoc on your ability to really enjoy where you are. And like, there's this wanderlust. Honestly, I am going through a bit of that wanderlust um, where you kind of just, I feel like I'm supposed to go. It's been about, what, almost three years, I think, that I've been here. And there is this urge, a very strong urge to move, to leave. But here's the thing. That's just like some muscle memory thing that's occurring. I don't really want to leave. Like, I don't really want to move away from Arizona. I like it here. <laughs> I do. Um like, I have to ha sit myself down and have conversations like, wait, do you dislike it? And it's like, no. So then, like, where are you? Why are you trying to leave? Like, this is what I say to myself. Like, what what are you trying to accomplish here? <laughs> what do you think is going to happen if you go someplace else? And the answer is, I don't know. I don't know. It's just this weird feeling that overtakes me. And I don't enjoy that. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. Um, and they have this cute bucket list sticker, which I kind of like the idea of, I'll be honest with you. And I'm going to tailor this for witchy purposes <laughs> this month. So that'll be fun. Ooh, that'll be fun. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, this is more like for camping, but I'm using, cause I live here. Um, yeah, like just, this is kind of my ode to <laughs> my surroundings to remember you actually like it. You like it here. Um, that have bucket list. You know what? I love it here. Maybe I'm, I'll put this here and I'll write down all the things that I connect to here in Arizona. Because for me, spiritually speaking, when I'm in those mountains here, like I've been up in South Carolina, you just driving around, um, like, um, much further Northwest when I was like dri driving to Vegas, if you know what I'm talking about, if you're driving that drive, um, man, let me tell you something. The feelings that I get from just like, being out in the, like on those roads and if you're there in the daytime or at night especially at night it's like pitch black like I don't know it's eerie but <clears throat> I'm not afraid it's more like I don't know how do I I'm trying to find the words it's hard to explain like feelings sometimes <laughs> but basically it's like a feeling of like obviously there was so much more I feel like there was this was something else there's some some other energy tied to this place and it's just, I don't know, um, it can feel overwhelming sometimes, like on that ride, like just looking out the window and I'm like, damn, this is like crazy that once upon a time, other pe these people, they were whole, you know, people's traveled these lands and, um, you know, um, who knows what else, you know, I don't know if they settled here for at least a portion of time. Like, I don't know. I don't know a lot of the history and I'd like to learn. But anyway, I feel a connection. I feel something. So 
I I'm capitalizing off of that a little bit, you know, for my own personal psyche. <laughs> and I I'd like to um, feel good about being here. Ooh, I thought I grabbed a sticker. I'd like to feel good about being here. And like I said, it is spiritual for me. It's not just a um, it's spiritual for me as well. I'll just say that it is. I want I like just like some of these shooting stars and the mystical piece. That's what I'm kind of going with with some of these star stickers. But anyway, yeah, so this is kind of like my my way of um, calming that spirit in me <laughs> that thinks she has to be on the move at all times because she does not. Um, it's okay. If you've ever seen the movie Chocolate, Chocolat. Um, that was, um, oh, this is not sticking. The one of the main character or the, the, per, the, yeah, the main character, she was, um, from a people who were, tra they were travelers and she always, her and her daughter, they were always traveling. Like when the wind blew, it was like something about the wind. It was time to travel and see, got new places. And, um, the problem is, you know, that was the kind of the movie, if you didn't know, it's a great, and it's on Netflix, by the way, if you're interested. I love this movie. So mystical and witchy in a very soothing and calm way. But basically, her daughter no longer wanted to live the life of a traveler. And her daughter, yes, she comes from the same people, but her father was not of, of you know, uh, those people. Uh, we get the feeling. We don't know because she doesn't really know who her father is, which is a whole other thing. <laughs> But yeah, I just feel like, oh, and I like these because these are, so, I just bought some succulents and these kind of look like the desert succulents that I just purchased. So I kind of want to put these in here too. Um, hmm, I'll just put them randomly, random please. That way I can still write here or up here if I have to. But anyway, yeah, so she didn't want to keep moving around. And honestly, my life a little bit mirrors that. I, I felt an instant connection when I saw that movie because I feel like there's, my ability and willingness to just like travel the way that I did just, okay, we're going. And then I noticed even um, my daughter is like, we're just accepting of it. Like, okay, my son is resigned, but I don't know if he's a, as technically as accepting as we are probably if it was his idea to travel, <laughs> maybe so. But anyway, yeah, that movie connects with me in such a big way. So anyway, I would just suggest checking that out. And you would kind of get a little bit of what I'm talking about, why I feel the way I feel um, about, you know, this desire that it just overcome, that just overtakes me. The only reason I think I'm okay um, is because I know I'm, I am traveling someplace at the end of March. So I know that and I'm like, okay, I'm going somewhere. So it's okay. You know, like I'm, I'm not stuck here, which is really not cool to think about things, you know, where you live is stuck, but that's the best way I could describe it. I don't love this, by the way. <laughs> I I would like to just feel settled. So this is part of it, you know, looking at my planner and like these little, you know, scenes and things like that kind of help me settle myself in a little bit. Um, it's not fun, <laughs> um, always moving. And, you know, whether you're moving because you, you know, is job related or because you're just, you know, in unstable situations, you know, that's life for some people. So, and I totally get that. Um, it's, 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 it takes its toll. You kind of just want to stop. It's like, I don't want to move anymore. I, you make friends, your kids make friends and you just kind of want it to be over, but it's not, <laughs> it's not, you there's yet another move that has to take place. So anyway, yeah, this is this is what I'm going for. So I'm going to add just a couple other cute little embellishments with the gold um, just on the page. And I think I'm done with the month at this point. And I like how it turned out. I'm not going to write anything on here just yet. I just kind of want to put just some cute, like I said, little embellishments and things like that. Just a pop of that gold. Um, here and there. So I think it's so cute. And I think I'll do another one here. All right, yeah, so that is the, my monthly. 
and I, I really like it. I really do. So I notice um, this page, I tend to actually just jot notes. This is not like pretty. If I have a note, I'll put it here, but I don't really feel the need to, uh, I don't know, decorate this. Maybe one day, but I don't. I don't know. Do you, in the comments, let me know. Do you do your dashboard page? I don't know, but look at this. I love this. This, if for some reason I forgot, <laughs> um, this is the Zodiac themed happy planner, this one. So like it lets you know, uh, Pisces energy, artistic, empathetic, dreamy. Like I am seriously on that short. Like I'm fully embracing the energy that's swarming around me for Pisces energy right now. Like that's where my headspace is for real. Okay, so we're going to switch gears now, and I'm going to go in this Happy Planner Color Story book. Now, if you ever get one of these books, let me tell you the fun thing about these books. They're kind of separated into themes, so it's fun, you know? It's fun. So I'm actually going to do a very colorful theme, uh, the one in the back. I was looking up to see if there were any other stickers that I wanted from here, but um, like, because it's my birthday month, so I saw some cute little things in here. Like the let's celebrate. I mean, I don't know. We'll see um, if I reach back. But I'm definitely loving all of these. It kind of give that like that bright, um, colorful vibe. I'm digging this right now uh, for this week spread. I kind of want to take some of that energy. So anything that's bright, we're taking out of uh, the sticker out of this book for the most part. Okay, so let's get these stickers down. Yes, this video is probably going to be longer <laughs> because it's me anyway <laughs> and I I need to um I don't know I just kind of lose myself sometimes with this planning business I I've mentioned that before so when they don't have words on them I can lay them like this and I kind of like that so that's exactly what I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna put it right here in the center and not you know all of this one too like it just has a little something over here but I like I think I like it down at the bottom so I'm gonna put that here just little pops of color and I'm looking for one that doesn't have anything else on it but I don't see it and that's okay so here I think I'll put that here this is just like a one two three for lists which makes sense for me on that day and I'm gonna use Sunday for sure I'm gonna use some of these cute little small little like tight I don't know what they call these types of stickers I call them like title stickers because you usually write that I'm going to use it like this kind of for making lists still like that and I like the little washi um stickers that they have so I'm going to definitely put these down because these are so cute and I feel like I'm crooked <laughs> every time I lay these stickers down and I don't know why I feel like my hand is steady but when I lift it up it's like a little bit off but you know what that's just life right life is not perfect at least that's what I keep telling myself <laughs> so there's no such thing as perfection they're just it's not even if you're looking at a picture and everything looks well organized and thoroughly sectioned off like let's say it's like a something lined up if you really really look at it it's not. It's not lined up. <laughs> I think I'm going to continue this across. I kind of like that look. If I can keep this. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So it kind of looks like it's going across. So, you know, I'm just adding some color in here. Because um, why not? You know, I recently... Um, and it sounds, again, silly. I know a lot of people take these things for granted but you know we all live differently right I recently really thought about uh, my current situation um my days are really my days now like I really don't um I don't know I don't really have I mean I have responsibilities obviously but I don't have like little kids anymore and there was something I was doing and I really kind of thought like I was making plans I was like I don't even at some, and I should have been, I mean, there's moments I realized this, yes. But in this moment, I really felt like, wow, I really don't have to pencil in or schedule anything as far as for, like, taking care of someone else. Like, it's really just about me at this point in my life. And it makes me, I know some people get weird about that, but I don't know, it makes me happy. <laughs> I'm like, okay, 
back to me. I, you know, let, let's get back to what, what does Mika like to do? Where does Mika want to go? What does she want to get into? Like, <laughs> it's all the, I don't know. And I just had this moment of clarity and I just felt like so inspired. I felt so happy. Um, because I was like, wow, this is an exciting time in my life. I get to really just focus on what I want, what I want to do. And I don't know. I was, like I said, that just made me incredibly happy. And I think that's also inspiring why I chose these color combinations. Because, um, I don't know, it's just, it makes me happy. <laughs> it makes me very happy. I like to keep it cool. I like, I just like all these different colors. So it's like, I don't know, it's doing something for me right now. And I'm getting excited about my upcoming trip. And I don't know, it's like, I don't know, things, this is my, I don't know, I'm very happy around this time of year. I should probably just add that. If you watch videos around this time of year, and as we get more into spring, like I will repeatedly keep telling you, I love this time of year. I mean, I love pretty much, I don't know, I love a lot of, different points of the year, different seasons, but like, it's infectious. Like I can't make it stop. Um, even if I feel a little melancholy about things, it only lasts for so long because I am like just enthralled with all the possibilities of, um, what could be, you know, um, I don't know. I don't, that's the best way. It's like, what could be potential for things to come? So anyway, that's kind of where my mindset is. So if I seem a little bit over the top more than usual this month and in April, you just were told why. That's why I'm like on a natural high right now. And I am just looking to see if there's any things, anything else that I want. I love this great things are going to happen, but it's not that colorful. It's like gold. It's, I mean, it's colorful, but it's not like giving. <laughs> it's not giving, giving like I want. I like these other bright colors that I have. Uh, we're ready for the weekend. I know that's right. I used to, it's funny, before I got back into like a regular like show up corporate type environment thing that I'm doing right now, um, along with the other things that I do, <laughs> um, I used to say Mondays were my favorite day of the week and they were, but Boy, I still, here's the thing. I, I feel like I'm, um, I still feel that way. I, something about a Monday, I feel like, okay, now's the time to put everything into practice. Everything being whatever it is that I was trying to put into practice before. I'm trying to think the best place to lay the sticker because I like it says live creatively. I really want this. I just don't know where. I guess I could put it here because I'm not going to use this. So yeah, I'll put it here. But um, yeah, I really... I don't know. I enjoy the day. I enjoy Mondays. They make me, I don't know. I feel like you get your fresh start on Monday. So that's what I think it is. It's the, it's the idea of a fresh start. But at the same time, oh, I've never noticed this before. It's a, it's a candle. It's clear, but it's cute. Oh, I like that. Anyway. Um, but yeah, it's like, okay, so you know, people start their diets and all that on a Monday. Um, you know, you're going to start your workout on a Monday. People, you know, we all do that, right? So, I don't know. I kind of feel like it's something about those Mondays that are very special. Now, I think I really like these stickers. I never noticed how much these stickers are so cute. <laughs> I kind of really like them. Um, in the front of this uh, cover storybook, these are really adorable like they fit a lot of different themes and I kind of really like it I like it a lot <laughs> but yeah uh no this goes here actually yeah but Mondays are good but at the same time uh I don't really like having to show up and I don't know do stuff <laughs> that people are paying me to do on a Monday. That part's not really that fun, if I'm being honest. It's not. <laughs> so I could do without that part of the Monday. But apparently, you know, that's how the whole pay getting paid thing works, apparently. See, I like this, but I don't want this little cutout here. And I know this is for the monthly. Uh, you know, I could put a sticker on the edge. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it like this. 
So it's kind of covered, but not really. And then I like this Living the Dream. Yes, it's going to be busy, <laughs> but I still have room to write things in, so it's not too serious. Um, yeah, I'm finding some of these stickers, like, incredibly cute. Hmm, I wonder why I didn't. <laughs> you know, I have such a planner stash. I really need to get it together. I really do. I like this treat yourself sticker. It's all get stuff done, but no, we don't want to do that. We want to treat ourselves. That's going to be for Saturday. It's a really colorful, really cute. Um, this is errands and get it done. I'm okay with that and focus on this week. I think I'm okay with that. So I'm going to just dip into here to see if there's anything else. These are, are not quite as bright, but I might find a couple things in here that may or may not make sense <laughs> for what the, the theme I'm going for this week, which is kind of colorful and you know, just full of life and just kind of tapping into that energy. So when I look at this spread, I'll definitely be thinking about that. Um, I love this sticker book, by the way. This is uh, from Hobby Lobby. This is the Paper Studio brand, Stickabilities. This one I really like. I actually think it's great for like a green witch or a hedge witch. Like this is the perfect book for that. It's so, I don't know, it's witchy whether they realize it or not. It, to me, it looks really witchy. Um, and I like that. I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> but yeah, I don't see anything too bright. I was hoping it was something I could grab out of this. But I think I do like this. This is cute. My soul speaks in flowers. I don't know. It's kind of bright and yellow. I like this a little bit. It's just it's, it's giving a little bit of something. Um, I think I'll put that right here. Let me just see if there's anything else. And there's like some this bright orange something or other. I'll, I'll take this out. Um, it's one of my favorite things, like just doing this sticker business, like finding the stickers and kind of getting reacquainted with my, my stash. Like this is fun to me. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm not going to be able to get too much out of this book. That's going to fit here. I mean, I could throw some stuff down, but, uh, you know, I want to keep up with my little theme here. So I'm going to just, yeah, we're going to call it a day on this. All right, so this is it. Yeah, I, I feel comf comfortable with this. I don't know, this. I took liberties with this and changed it around. I don't know, but I kind of like it. It looks colorful. It's, to me, this is like classic happy planner sticker layout like very classic um very old school uh because this is something i probably would have did when i first started getting into stickers and all that and happy planner but um yeah thank you so much for watching by the way and don't forget to please like subscribe share also please consider joining leap taken membership um you can join either as something i call a hedger or as a leaper. Uh, the perk to being a hedger is you are supporting the channel, which I appreciate. Um, there's badges and other cool stuff that you don't even know about yet because I'm still adding things as I go for that particular level. And then there's leaper, which I have great plans for as well. But the main benefit of being a leaper is the book club. Um, that's something I really, you know, can't wait until that just gets growing more and more. But yeah, the book club is the thing. So that's one of the reasons I would strongly suggest uh, joining for the book club. And then, of course, if you want to check out any of my services over at leaptaken.com, please go ahead and take a look at that. I offer in-depth readings. There's uh, two options. And then um, there's a little bit more detail as far as if you're interested in a mentorship um, where I like to believe I'm more of an advocate as opposed to just a teacher. You know, I'm someone who's sort of your cheerleader to help you through this spiritual journey that you're on. And also I have a monthly service where I send readings to you. They're based on the new moon and the full moon um, and the astrological sign that they're in during that time. So 
um, very in-depth, very personalized readings. And you also get to have a page for your book of shadows if you so desire to print it out. Um, so that's really cool. And I love the artwork on those pages, by the way. So yeah, so you get to the end of spread so you can use those going forward for other purposes. So you're getting uh, a lot of information with those readings. So again, thanks so much for watching. I'm Mika. This is Leap Taken. You guys have a great day. I hope your week is colorful. I hope it's exciting because that's what I'm hoping for myself. That's the energy I'm putting out there. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.